What's good, gentlemen? Welcome back to the Michigan State Spartans Rebuild. We're halfway through year two. We finished last season with a winning record, and we've redshirted some absolute monsters that we drafted. My two favorites are Emmanuel Gideon and Enrique Vallejo. Gideon being an 88-speed middle linebacker and Vallejo being a 92-speed corner. Both of these guys are going to be staples of the Spartans for years to come. Same with Tay Bickley. Josh Westbrooks, the 76 overall, the highest overall player we recruited. Javier Boys. John Dragos are really fast scrambler quarterback. And we added some speed to the wide receiver rooms in recruiting with Ernest Shermer, Oscar Bello, Tua Huang, Jalen Hoover, and we had an athlete, Andrew Foss, who I made a tight end. So we now have a 91 speed, six foot five tight end on the roster. Now keep in mind, I do love all those guys, but they are redshirt freshmen, so they're obviously not getting reps right now. Looking at our lineup as a whole, Nate Carter and Aiden Childs in the backfield is awesome for the Spartans right now. Jack Vell did come back for his senior year, so that's awesome. We've still got our amazing tight end. Malik Spencer is hitting his stride. Our offensive line looks really good. But so far this season, it hasn't been all fun games. We are four and three, and we haven't been winning our Big Ten games. That's why this next game here against Penn State is a big one. We have already signed some really good prospects. Hugh Schuler, Jeremiah Humphreys, Dante Callis, John Cantwell, the five-star athlete. He's most likely going to be a running back, but we'll see. He's got 91 speed, 92 excel. We won't know until the off season. Signed Larry Church, another big wide receiver. We got a verbal commit on Joey Morrison, a four-star quarterback. We got a four-star gem right end, JP Fowler. And the biggest position I'm still targeting is the tackle. I've got my eyes on Aries Raymond, Venzel Hall, and Demarcus Baker. We're in the lead for all three of these guys right now. Just got to get them to commit, and I'll feel really good because D-tackles are so important, especially in a 4-3, and my D-tackles are pitiful on the Spartans right now. But frankly, I'm kind of itching to play Penn State. We get to play them at home, but they are a 90 overall, so we know this is going to be a tough game. I'm going to rock the all-black alternates, and Penn State's going to be in the all-whites. This is going to be a sick game. Also, today's sponsor is DoorDash, which I use all the time. So this is an awesome sponsor. DoorDash is my favorite delivery app. It has everything from groceries from the store to food from my favorite spot. DoorDash really has it all. DoorDash is your door to more. I'm always super busy recording videos, so I love to use DoorDash when I'm in a big recording session, save myself time from making a meal, but still get some awesome food. Download the DoorDash app now to get almost anything delivered. You also need to be 21 or older to order alcohol, and it's only available in certain markets. And of course, I have a code for you guys. Make sure to use code MMG50 to get 50% off up to $10 on your first order of $15 or more. There's a link in the top of the description to download. Don't forget that and make sure to use that code MMG50 and enjoy the rest of the video. Now keep in mind, last season I was experimenting with a different playbook, but then I realized we haven't rebuilt this team quite yet. We haven't done all the things we need to do to change to an air raid offense. So we're still in Michigan State's pro style offense. Last time we saw Penn State, they beat us 42 to zero. So looking to make some improvements here. Here. But I've got a healthy Aiden Childs and a healthy Nate Carter, and I can't ask for much more. I've also got a really good left side of this O line, so we're gonna run to that side right now. And Nate Carter's off to the races as we get a holding call. Also, last time I recorded, the spin move was still broken. They have since patched it, so I'm kind of excited to see what it does now. Not a good way to start the football game. Though. First and 14, we're going play action. Oh, that's a really risky ball. Stared down Jack Velling and threw a horrible pass. That's not a good start to this game. All right, first and 10, we gave Penn State really good field position. Oh, but I think they just got, wow. I just got bodied, but they got a holding for sure. I would have made the tackle with Matthews if he didn't hold me. I tell you what, I've been playing a lot of linebackers, so I'm tempted to do this here on first and 19. It's a play action. Now I don't like this. Can I still make the tackle like this though? Sort of. All right, we're looking at a third and 10. I'm on Malik Spencer. The stadium's loud. The stadium's real loud. Great tackle. Fourth and four will hold him to a field goal. Wait, are they faking this? I think I just noticed something. Wait a minute. No, never mind. The play key moments was having me come in for that. It made me think maybe they were faking it, but I guess they just wanted me to block it. Ooh, third and seven. Not the easiest spot. Let's see what we can get here. Make the read. I'm gonna go Nate. Yikes. That's all right, it's three to zero. This is a big third down, it's a pass. Well defended. Don't let him get there. Don't let him get there! Now we find ourselves in the red zone. That's what I love to see, second and seven. I'm giving this ball to Nate Carter, baby. Right behind our best player on the offensive line, Ramil. Nate Carter bounces it back. I'm gonna block 82. I've got Velling on this little sit down here in the middle. 
It's not there. Giles is gonna get out. Can you make that ball? It's a bad ball. It doesn't matter. All right, can we hammer this home? Can we get... Can we hammer this home? Nate Carter, let's go. We're in the end zone. It is six to nine, ladies and gentlemen. And I gotta make that throw again, but that edge rusher is fast. Second and 10, I'm gonna go inside zone. Yikes, Nate Carter, that was so glitchy. And there's a flag, hopefully not on us, it is on us. Accept it, I'll take the extra down if you want to accept that. That would actually be awesome. Second and 20 or third and 10, what would you do? They want second and 20. Thank you, Penn State, because I can hit Jack Velling here if you try to man him up. No, but it's a soft zone. Jesus. Here we go. Jack Felling manned up. I love to see it. Jack Felling. I am so glad he didn't go to the pros. Dude, we had the smallest chance to persuade him to stay, and he stayed. And he just made the biggest play of the game so far. It's nine to six right now. Nick Marsh. Nick Marsh. It's not even Nick Marsh. But he caught it! First and goal, I'm going design QB scramble. We're double teaming on the right side on that dominant... Oh my god, he said that was... Oh my god, holy shit. That was absolute domination. That was the worst play call I've ever made. Just run at the middle. It's a Spartan football. Need a good pull block here for my right guard. I really didn't follow it, but I did pick up two yards, and we can still let this clock move. Third and goal, huge play right here. Hand it off. Get in there, Nate. Oh, you're not Nate Carter. Fourth and goal, timeout. What do you do? Do you tie this game up or do you go for the singular yard? Come on, boys. You're telling me you're not built for one single yard? Have a little faith. They got McKinney wearing. I don't like that, but I want to go over the top. I don't need to. McKinney! I literally could not have gotten a worse animation there. I got rubbed into somebody. That was free up the middle. A big risk does not pay off. Oh, this is such good defense, though. <gasps> he still threw that? The, this has just been a big breakdown here. It's a slip screen. We can stop this, though. Absolutely, we can stop this. Hold him to a field goal. I can't tell if Penn State got it. I can't tell yet. 12 to 6. Okay, they got it. I think they're making the mistake of manning up Jack Velling, though. They sure are. You can't man him up. Unless I go the wrong way, but we still got the first. They want me to come in and kick this field goal. Fourth and 12 is their wind. There's 14 mile per hour winds slightly to the right. Ugh, I don't like this. I don't know where I'm supposed to put this, but let's find out. Was that money? Oh, I thought that wind was going to be a lot more impactful. It barely moved that ball. Third and five. A lot of mistakes right now, but it's still a one possession game. Is this a handoff? No. Pass on third and six. He had the halfback. He doesn't get it off. I assume that's a punt. Did he just drill a 50 in the rain? Who is Penn State's kicker? I'm going with the same concept here. I gotta step up, Aiden Childs. We got a little time. Got a little time. Send some blockers. It's it's a winnable game. They're not showing me the scoreboard. Let me see the score. Aiden Childs. Get down, buddy. Or don't fumble. Third and 10. It's one of the biggest plays right here in this game. I'm gonna look for Jack Velling. If not, gotta find somebody else. Might have been there for a second, but I can take this for just a few, and we got to go for this, right? Oh, no. Number 11 dragged down. It's 15 to 6. We're in the red zone. I don't know what happened here, but I like it. Aiden Childs. Aiden Childs. It is not over. Big onside kick. We need it. Do we have timeouts? We have three timeouts. Come on, baby. It's a rain game. He got it. So easy. Somebody hit this man. Stop it. Stop it. Just walked into... Fucking range. All right, if we get enough stops, we'll have another drive on offense. We know they're gonna run. They got to. Stop. Wow, going for that touchdown, not kicking that field goal is coming back right now. Triple option, I hate this. Okay, but we got bodies all over that. God, that guy's a freak. Katron Allen. Gotta get on Spencer and fill this. Oh, it's a pass. Oh, almost intercepted, but that saves the timeout. That saves the timeout. Dude, this kicker's lights out. He hit a 50 earlier. I have a feeling he'll drill this. Yeah, and I missed a field goal. Oh my gosh, I got to score a touchdown, but it's alive. The game is alive. 57 seconds and I have a timeout. We can clutch this up. They got me on all goes. Just a classic here. It's not man coverage. Velling, tight window. Dropped. Got a lot more plays, boys. A lot more plays. Dude, where's Nate Carter? Nate Carter, you're my guy. I need you. I'm going back to Velling, and that's so overthrown, but it's so overthrown it can't be picked. So count your blessings, I guess. Oh my god, are they gonna leave Jack Velling? Oh, it's barely caught, but it's caught. Jack Velling, risk of injury severe. We do not like to see that. I'm gonna throw this quick. Did you catch that? What? Stepping up with Childs. He's 
so tired, but he's out of bounds. With 15 seconds left and we reset the change. It's still alive. It's still alive! Jack Velling's out. Starters are hurting. I understand. He's not really there. I gotta go full yard. I need Nick Marsh to come in. I need to go to Nick Marsh. 11 seconds. I'm going up to Nick Marsh. That's really risky. It actually had a chance. Coach says Hail Mary. I don't got a choice. We're in Hail Mary. Here we go, boys. Pray. Pray, Michigan State. Dude, that was such a good game. Dude, the dagger was that handoff to McKinney Ware. Number one, should have been Nate Carter. I don't know why that bum's coming in. Unless Nate Carter got hurt. Okay, Aiden Childs gets player of the game. Despite we lost. Dude, I got to see the highlight of that stop. Such a bad play. This is just so unlucky. Watch this. So McKinney Ware, I'm trying to cut back to the right. And look at this. Look at that animation. I'm trying to cut back and follow 39. I'm trying to cut this back and hit this hole. And look at this. I just get like wobble. I get wobble stepped all the way to the left side. Well, it didn't matter to Aries Raymond, who was a gem. Three-star gem. Thank you, gentlemen. We got a three-star gem D tackle and a four-star D tackle. That's exactly what we were looking for. And now it's the biggest game of the season. Take it on the University of Michigan. Let's make sure our recruiting is all set before we hop into this game. Yeah, we still look good on everybody. We do have a lot of extra hours that we could use here. We're an 85 overall Michigan. Michigan is an 88. They're actually a lower overall than Penn State. So this should, in theory, be a winnable game. Cole Cabana, 95 speed, 95 excel. That's a scary running back. All right, let's see if we can take down Michigan once again. The Paul Bunyan trophy, baby. I need a Big Ten win, too. This is, we're, we suck in the Big Ten right now. It's a beautiful day for football. No more rain. No more excuses. We got to beat the Wolverines. I'm on Matthews. Third and five. Cole Cabana is fast. If this is a run. Oh, it is. It's a delayed handoff. But we got him. It's either a deep field goal or a turnover. Over. Oh no, they're going for it. They're going for it. They're in a run set. I got to get on Malik Spencer. Malik Spencer is my guy here. Come on, Michigan State. Come on, Michigan State. Malik Spencer. He just rolled forward. Oh my. We filled that so well too. There's Alex Orji back there. We know he's fast too. It's a pass. Running back's not open. Oh, I'm just out of reach. Fumble! Michigan State football. Needed that. Play action jet sweep. I like this play call. And I like that Nate Carter's in. Oh God, this play's horrible. There's just certain plays that simply don't work. I thought it was gonna be cool, but sometimes the plays is just horrendous. Michigan gets seven. All right, they got me out wide. What do we like here? I like to step up here. Oh. Okay, I mean, we got the arts, we got the catch. Just gonna give this to Nate Carter. Keep things simple. Get out to the right side, maybe. Good blocks. Great blocks. Love it. Nick Marsh, what do you think about that coverage over there, sir? He might have had him. I've got a little bit of room with Aiden Childs, though, and they're all going to depart. Get that ball in your other hands. You can stiff arm. Already looking a lot better than we looked against Penn State. Offensive line's holding up well, and I had a touchdown to RB. I'll still take my Nate Carter yards. Nate Carter's tired, so McKinney Ware is in. Man coverage on Velling. It works, though. You don't see that very often. You don't really see people man up Jack Velling that way. Time to bring in Nate Carter. Thank you. Let's just reset these chains. Doesn't gotta be anything. Oh, it could be something fancy though. Oh, that spin is so nerfed. <laughs> yeah, that thing got a hell of a nerf. Maybe Jack Velling on the out route. I gotta see this coverage though. Good blocks. They sat him on his ass as a touchdown. Oh, maybe not. Aiden Childs juke. We tie the ball game up, 30 seconds. And we've got the ball. Got the ball back already. Nate Carter over the middle. Catch it. Ooh. Just kidding. Coach is going for this. I'm going Jack Velling. That's single coverage. It did burn some clock in the air, though. That ball in the sky burned some clock. I don't think Michigan can score on this. They can't. Although, I did just see they tried to kick a 63-yard field goal. All right, after half, Michigan does score. So now we're going to see what we can do here. Who's on Jack Velling? Okay, I mean, I probably could have. Oh shit, that was third. I gotta get back to the run game. Third and five, that's a burner out of Nick Marsh. Turn the corner. Turn the corner, Nick Marsh! Huge touchdown, huge touchdown. Now we gotta make a big stop. I think this game's all tied up. They'd show me the score. I do wanna see the score. 14 to 14. It's a play action. He heaves it. Where are you throwing? Can we, can we? We can, we can. Oh my God, Colson Loveland, would you piss off? That's not even Colson Loveland. Huge drive. We're bringing out Big Ten football. We're running this shit. We're getting that clock gone. We're scoring on Michigan. We're gonna win this ball game. The Paul Bunyan, baby. Great blocks. 
Great blocks. Duo alert bubble. The feds want you to throw the bubble. Real men hand it off. Going inside zone split. And that is an insane chop block from my offensive lineman. Went for the ankles. I did not know that was legal. Going right back to the run. Inside zone Nate Carter. It's been there all day and it continues to be. Nate Carter breaking tackles, first and 10. This is a beautiful drive. Getting around the edge with Aiden Childs, Jack Velling left on an island. The delayed wheel route, it's first and 10. How much more clock can we take here? We're bringing out the jet sweep here. Is it home? Oh my goodness. I don't even want this touchdown right now. We really could have milked that whole clock, either kicked a field goal, but let's just see what Michigan can do. They're in empty. Oh, where's Wayne Matthews? I don't like this. I don't like Wayne Matthews not being in. I got the middle. Oh, great defense. Let's play action on the draw. The door, oh, Fontano. Third 19, I'm running zero blitz. This is psycho, but it pays off. Fourth and 19, this ball game is almost over. One more stop. All right, let's guess pass. Come on, come on boys. One more stop! Let's go! Michigan does have three timeouts, but it's all but over here. It's all but over. Great defense. First and 10, I gotta get sacked here. Keep the clock ticking. That's a horrible play, and I should just be running it, but second and 22. Go inside zone right up the middle. Nate Carter's gonna go down. No way, no way they give up something big here, right? Dude, stop. Stop. Nate Carter. Dude, he's gassed too. He had minus eight speed from wear and tear. No way Michigan just let that off. The Paul Bunyan is staying in East Lansing. It doesn't matter how many games we lose so long as we beat Michigan. The battle for the Paul Bunyan. And we ran up the score at the end too. You gotta love that. Could've just kneeled it. 230 yards and three touchdowns for Aiden Childs. Nate Carter with a huge run to top this game off on third and 24. Michigan is sick about that run. Sick. That's such a good game. Such a good game, boys. A loss to Penn State, but a win against Michigan. Can always say that's a good season. Venzel Hall commit. So there's Javon Brown, who does look really, really good. My hard sell is nice. I've pretty much done everything I can. We just got to schedule a visit against Maryland. Well, the four-star middle linebacker commits, but we're still waiting to see on that tight end. We've gotten so many good recruits, though. I'll sim the end of this season. We don't have a ranked opponent. Get the four-star right tackle. Where's my tight end? Oh, no. Javon Brown goes to Tennessee. It's kind of okay. He was a blocking tight end. I guess I have I have Andrew Foss. Darius Snow got Big Ten Defense Player of the Week. And we're ranked now going into this game against Maryland. And we should get a bowl game, whether we win or lose this. I think at seven and five. Cade Klubnik, dude. I swear, I see this guy win Heisman a lot for sure. Clemson's doing something good over there. <laughs> Wait a minute! Yo, that's the first time I've ever seen that award. I've never gotten that award in any dynasty, anything I've ever done. Best running back award goes to Nate Carter, who averaged more than a touchdown per game, almost a thousand yards on 180 carries. That's awesome. Hey, we went back to Michigan State Pro Style. It was definitely a good call. And we have a pretty ugly bowl game. We're taking on that. We're gonna shit on them. You're gonna shit on Bowling Green. I'm actually offended by this. I'm playing Bowling Green. I'm sorry, I'm, I am simming this game. You are not catching me playing Bowling Green. We did not lose that game. Or did we win that game? Oh my God, stop it. Bowling Green haunts me. I should have played that. <laughs> oh my God. What a cool award for Nate Carter though. I do have coach skill points to spend though. I'm gonna finish out tactician on DBs because I feel like that's gonna be really good as well as defensive line. And then I'm gonna unlock the motivator skill tree. Motivator, you get extra XP for players and that's gonna be really important when these younger guys start to take over this lineup because we're almost done with this season. All right, the season has concluded. We went eight and five. Let's see how we did on the full season. Aiden Childs, this is his junior year, hoping he stays 22 and 10. It's a very Big Ten passing stat line, but 3,200 yards is solid. Nate Carter's a fucking animal, an absolute animal. This was his senior year, though. That was our last time using Nate Carter. But dude, to break a thousand rushing yards is so gross in college football. That is so awesome. Nate Carter, you will be missed, my guy. You're an absolute dog. Also, just so we're clear, Nate Carter, the fact that you have D playing time is, um, yeah. Shut up. You got the, probably the most carries in the league. Nick Marsh's sophomore season was really, really good. Velling, that was his last year. Antonio Gates Jr. did have a really good season. He's only a junior. So our, our wide receivers are on the come up for sure. But wow, Nate Carter and Jack Velling gone is really sad. Font, like this is what I mean about D-tackles. Oh, Fontana had my most sacks. He's a 75 overall. He's obviously getting better. He's only a sophomore, but I don't know, man. We need some dogs. Chance Rucker, he's looking really good. Star on the defense and he's only a junior. Hughes also a junior. We're gonna lose Malik Spence. 
Spencer. Love Malik Spencer, so that's gonna be tough. We also were gonna lose Wayne Matthews, our best linebacker. Maybe I can poach a tight end. Okay, so Stanton Ramil. Persuasion chance is guaranteed to get our best right tackle back. So yeah, you're staying, buddy. I love you, Stanton. Ooh, ooh this is about to be a scary button click. Aiden Giles is considering transferring for play style. And I understand. We went back to Michigan State pro style offense. And Aiden Giles is an 87 overall quarterback in the Big Ten offense. I would want to switch too. Persuade? Yes! Literally the A button click is so scary, but he stays. Thank you. And here's all the guys we lose. Spencer, Darius Snow, Ramorian Smith, Devery Poe, Nate Carter, Wayne Matthews. Oh, I could cry. God, I love those guys. That's all right. Hey, we got the only two guys we could persuade or stay at home. I knew Aiden Childs was loyal, dude. I knew, I knew he was going to stick around. And we're a four-star program now. Just like, hey, we've gone up half a star every season. And I lost to Bowling Green in a bowl game, so that's pretty cool. We'll see who we can potentially pick up in the transfer portal. I've thrown some guys on here. Um, we're, It's really shallow as far as tight ends, though. There's Miles Thomas, but he's a broken gem. Orlando Agude. Also a blocking tight end. Like, I want a vertical threat. So we do get Miles Thomas. He's broken gem, but Jack Velling's gone. I gotta get somebody. We still have Andrew Foss, who redshirted last season, though. I'm excited. 91 speed athlete tight end. That's gonna be really fun to play with. Orlando commits as well. He was the blocking tight end. He's 6'5". We'll see. Now it's time for position changes. This could be massive, depending on what our athletes look like. I must have this wrong. This isn't showing any of the guys I recruited, so this can't be right. Because the guy I'm looking for is... Is Hugh Schuler. This is the athlete that I signed, and he's who I'm trying to do a position change on. It must be a different part because I don't have the option right now. Yeah, he's not in here, so that this can't be the time. We do get to see our training results, though, and our top two guys are our tackles, which, damn, I wish I could make you a left tackle, but I can't do that right now. Hopefully, the game will automatically put him at left tackle. Otherwise, I'll manually do it. Jeremiah Hughes is an 87. The boys are looking strong. We get a ton of coach skills in the offseason. I'm going for motivator. Once you get on the fourth tier, you can get everyone to start high in the fourth quarter. So I'm gonna rock that for the D line and for my running backs. Okay, I'm so confused. Why could I not pick the position change of that athlete that I recruited? It was not an option. We can take a look at the roster right now. This is the preseason of year three, but I am super confused right now. Brennan Parachek is now an 83 overall at tight end. So I'm not as worried about losing Jack Felling anymore. So that's good. Well, finally, I can see them. Hugh Schuler, it just automatically made him a halfback. He's definitely a stud and I kind of wanted him at halfback anyway. Impact dev trade, dude looks like a a savage. It says his rating was a four star. He was definitely a five star. I'm so confused. Quickness is maxed out. I want to get him reps early. Who's our current starting halfback? Okay, our current starting halfback is Brandon Tullis, who does have 92 speed, but he's a junior. Dude, I might start Hugh Schuler right now. Let's take a look at John Cantwell first, though. Also impact. Cantwell was the five star? I think I'm going to start Hugh Schuler today. So Aiden Childs returns. Hugh Schuler is going to be the new starting running back of the Michigan State Spartans. We're starting from scratch, but this is a really good player to start from scratch with. 91 speed, 92 excel. As a freshman, you can be a beast. Turns out he's an incredible fullback. He's a 71 overall fullback. At wide receiver, Gates is our third string. Let's move Bello and Church up in the depth chart. Wide receivers already look so much better. Paracheck looks good. So Foss is a 74. I'm gonna put him as the backup. He will get reps here. So 91 speed tight end as the second string. Paracheck's a senior. So next year as a sophomore, Andrew Foss is gonna take over as our starting tight end. Left tackle is Ramil. Left guard is Dennison. Dellinger is great at center, but Dellinger's a 91 at left guard. Christian Phillips and Lenuski. Our offensive line is really, really good too. Waters at left end. Morgan at right end. My D tackles. This is what we got to look at too. Demarcus Baker as a freshman. I'm going to put him at second string. I'm going to get him reps early in his career. Jordan Hall at left outside linebacker. Emmanuel Gideon. Is Ow! Dude, Emmanuel Gideon's an 83 after his redshirt year. He has Maxed out road dog already. You're, oh my God, that was the best pick we've ever made. Emmanuel Gideon, oh my goodness, dude. I can't wait to use her him. Right outside linebacker's a little ugly. I like the start though. Dude, he's only a sophomore with 88 speed, 93 excel. Linebacker's about to get real good. I guess we lost Enrique Vallejo. I don't know when that happened, but Enrique Vallejo is not in as my corners. I was really excited to see him play. We have all seniors here in the corner room, so we'll definitely have to pick some up. My free safeties are ugly, but our corners are so deep that 
then I could sub in Coley or Denson at free safety. I'm gonna do it. Let's move Denson to my starting free safety. And at strong safety right now, it's Coley. We are so deep at corner. We also have a dog for a punter, Ryan Eckley, with platinum tier deep range, coffin corner and chair. Oh my God, this guy's a freak. All right, so at the start of next episode, we'll take a look back at our prospect list. We'll reset our recruiting board. Going into this season, we're at 86 overall with absolute studs at every position. Nate Carter's gone, so it's gonna be Hugh Schuler taking over in the running back room. It's year three, it's 2026, and the rebuild is going excellently. I'm super excited to see what we can do. I gotta set my red shirt, set the lineup, and take on Notre Dame for our first game. We've also got Oregon, Washington, Michigan on the schedule, no Ohio State. Should be a good one, boys. All right, hey, I love you guys. Thanks for watching, as always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.